What was your big takeaway from this rate decision? Well, mainly that while the bank acknowledged that there were that there was a higher inflation than expected, they're not that too much. Uh, they're not very worried that the doll, that uh, the weaker peso that they had a year ago is going to prompt a higher inflation. In other words, they are at peace right now in the way the peso is trading, and without that worry, they see themselves that they have room to wait and see see how inflation performs in the next couple months. Now that the, the Fed is not increasing rate rates in the in the short term that has created a little bit a little bit of transition period for them and also because in Mexico we have a new government taking over in December so they don't want to exploit all the tools or or the toolkit that they have in order to protect the peso and the inflation yeah, and we're just noting in the T Live Go blog here uh, on the Mexico rate decision that the board voted unanimously here, which is interesting because there was a split of expectations at the start from the market. How much of the concern about whether the central bank should move is tied to trade war concerns, Carlos? Well, what happens is that the central uh, the central bank. Uh, have to move uh, in some of the hikes they have recently. It wa the, those hikes were not because of domestic reasons. It was pretty much to keep it out with the, with the rate increases from the U.S. so they will keep Mexican assets attractive. I can do So without that concern, they can, ha they can be a little bit more dovish or at least flexible when it comes to the Mexican inflation. Yes, traders uh, uh, and investors are projecting that inflation is going to stay above 4 percent, but not that much. So I think it's a little bit understandable that the, the central bank is deciding, let's see what happens in the next few months, especially with core inflation and then 